Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and today I'm back again for another carting vlog. So, today is a bit of a different one. So, I'm actually heading down to Raceworld Indoor Carting Center where I'm actually going to be competing in the Devon Kart Club series or the DKC series for the December round. I used to compete in this series back well, a few years ago now when it was called Team Traction but they had a bit of a name change and a few changes made to the series. I thought I'd just do this one as a one-off just for a bit of fun so I will explain all the rules in this video and let you guys enjoy it so let's just jump straight into it. Yo what's up guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm back again for another carting video so this one's going to be a bit different so I'm actually going to be making my way down to Race World Indoor Karting in a minute competing in the Devon Kart Club series basically this is a club that is run every month this one is the December round and it's going to be a bit of an interesting round because qualifying is going to be five minutes and it's going to be based on if you can get a lap time between 30 or 35 seconds the exact lap time will be discussed when we get there and decided when we get there and then it's going to be a 20 lap sprint race and then a 40 lap reverse grid race with a pit stop included so we'll just jump straight into it and see what happens then so here we go for qualifying then so like i said qualifying was quite weird we had to try and get a 34 second lap time and obviously with the lap times averaging out for me about a 27.4s, so mid 27s, getting a 34 second lap time is very difficult. So I really had to drive really slow and just try and take some different lines just to try and get as close to a 34 second lap time as possible. If you went over it, so if you got like a 34.1, then it wouldn't count. You have to get as close to it as possible, but just a tiny bit quicker. So yeah, I will now just go past and wave at one of the marshals actually just for a bit of fun and now I start my closest attempt now as we head in towards turn one as you can see I got blocked up by someone there a little bit which is okay because like we said we really have to try and lose time not gain it if anything I pushed quite hard throughout the lap really which was a bit weird for me I don't really know why I did that to be fair I was trying to count in my head how long I was doing around a lap but it's very difficult to try and judge it exactly but on this lap I managed to actually get a 32.7 second lap time and that was the closest I could get to a 34 second lap time which was actually my final lap time. Sadly that put me in the B final which is a bit of a shame because I now am not in the A final so not great but I guess you know I tried my best and now we just have to move on into race 1 and see how we can do there then. Here we go for the first race then, as you can see uh, the visor got a bit steamed up here, it doesn't stay like that for long, when I'm out on track it, it's clear so don't worry about that. Um, and yeah, I was looking forward to this one because I was hoping to do better in the race, as you can see Nathan's here recording me uh, when I'm lined up on the grid and I'm just taking the mick a bit here. But we got a bit of a trackside camera of the star here, as it's five red lights and it is now lights out and away we go here. For the first race, a 20 lap sprint race and we get a pretty decent start as we go down the middle here of a couple people and try and send it in towards turn 1. It was a bit bumpy in towards turn 1 and luckily I managed to just stay out of it a little bit and make a couple positions which was okay I guess but I really had to watch out because obviously now is when they put the extra weight in and weigh you all up to about the same. I had an extra 30 kilos on me so that's a massive amount of weight to have and it's all on the left hand side so I was really struggling here with um, trying to get the car to grip around the corners and I was understeering a bit so a couple times I made a few mistakes and as you see cart 5 actually got around me and now cart 7 also gets around me and sends it down my inside there which was not great for me at all because now I'm down two positions so I kind of started well where I'm at right now so as another guy goes around me there which is Will has got a bit of a trackside camera once again going side by side down the straight down the inside I go and I make a move stick back on him luckily and there's a bit of a spin there from someone so we make it up another position which is okay I guess um, a bit of a shame for that start because it definitely could have been a bit better but at least we are up one position instead of down uh, which is also a good thing um, nevertheless we continue on as we go very wide there as Will 
just gets past us there which is not ideal and another guy gets around us as well so that's really not great from us we're just shipping every position known to mankind here as we go back down the inside of Will once again and make a move stick very nicely on him now we need to try and stick with Carp 3 and just try and challenge him to get a back ahead of him or else we're just going to finish where we started which is not great at all to say the least but nevertheless we are all over the back of him I need to try and think about more of attacking than defending because that's where I was kind of going wrong for those first few laps but nevertheless we cut onto a few laps later where cut 3 actually spins it through turn 2 there and we make it up another position and it's kind of annoying for him but I guess that helps us out a massive amount because now we have a bit of clean air where we can just push and try and catch down the rest up ahead and we cut a few laps later where I've actually caught up with them very nicely but sadly I think it's just a bit too late this is where I started getting used to the weights a bit more now but as you can see it was a bit too late because that was the final lap and now we finish in P8 so a bit of a shame but I guess we have to make it up in the next race which is a 40 lap race with one pit stop Alright boys, that was embarrassing. Um, I, I got bullied to the back. Uh, Will was battling me literally the whole race. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to do the four lap reverse grid. Hopefully it goes better. Here boys, here we go. So, yeah. I have no clue how we're going to go. we got a pit stop. It's reverse qualifying grid. I thought I was done fourth instead I'm starting like near the back. So yeah, it's going to be great. So yeah, boom. Hello. Are you starting pole? I'm starting pole. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Will's starting pole because he's just too I'm the good. quickest. Yeah, I set the yeah. quickest time in quality. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just set the quickest time in quality. Quickest time in quality. This is it then. The 40 lap reverse grid final with a pit stop. Hopefully, I could do a bit better in this one. I think... At the end of the last race, I started getting a bit more used to the extra 30 kilos of weight added to my cart. And hopefully we'll do a bit better, especially that I'm starting on 5th. So hopefully we can have a good start in towards Turn 1 and maybe get a few uh, positions. Who knows? But it is lights out and away we go here for the finale. I apologise about the steamed up visor. It does clear up during the race as we immediately go down the inside of Steve there around our outside and we get shoved a bit there into 14 which is not ideal and now we're gonna have to try and go around the outside trying to fend off Steve which we managed to do very nicely there as we hold on to P4 and now we can try and think about challenging for P4 which is gonna be a very difficult to say the least and well we're especially with Steve behind me he was a very quick driver but I also need to try and think about attacking car 14 as I really don't want to defend and make mistakes again like I did last race so we'll try and keep with car 14 here as best as possible as we make it in towards turn 2 very nicely but all over the back of car 14 it's very difficult to overtake around this track you just need to try and find uh, a little mistake the guy ahead makes and just use that to your advantage and just send it and if they don't it's very difficult to try and find a way around you just need to try and read the driver basically see what they'll do next see what line they'll take and try and take a quicker one basically that's the best you can do as we head in towards turn two once again take it very nicely and now we will try and catch up to cart 14 once again who's all over the back of cart 3 as well so yeah there is a slight train going on here as the guy in first is starting to pull away a bit which is actually will obviously he started on pole as you heard from the clip just before the race so we need to try and get around these two as quick as possible try and challenge for the win if that's even possible at this point as he is just flying ahead there as we try and take our way in towards turn one now turn two once again take it very nicely all over the back of cart 14 and 3 here and Cart 40 is actually going to try down the inside of Cart 3 there and make a move stick very nicely on him as I try and go around the outside just give a bit of contact so I back off of that move because that was no way happening and now we need to try and get around Cart 3 as quickly as possible because we do not want to get blocked up at all by him or else Cart 14 is just going to run away just like the guy in first has as we try and get in the slipstream of him through turn 1 now down into turn 2 and we actually get smashed out of the way there by car 4 though which is not great at all but I guess we just have to keep on going we lost two positions because of it and now we need to try and put extra work in to try and get back up as we try down the inside of Steve-O once again 
and they can stick very nicely. Always he tries to challenge back there. We get bombed a little bit from behind, but now we're down the inside of cart three finally and made the move stick very nicely on him as we head in towards the first hairpin. Now the second hairpin and made the move stick very nicely as Steve dives into the pits there for his one and only pit stop. So I guess I'll take that now. We've got one cart ahead of us and after we get past him we've got a bit of clean air so we'll try and get around him as quickly as possible as we send it in towards turn one his line was a bit off there so not ideal for him as we try and catch him very nicely we'll ha get a bit of slipstream down this next straight in towards the hairpin as he goes a little bit deep there which is not ideal it puts him off the racing line which is not helping his chances at all and I decided to actually dive into the pits there because I didn't want to have a problem of getting blocked up and it's a 10 second pit stop so we just have to wait for the 10 seconds as you can see the marshal's got the timer in his hands and now he pulls the truck away we go again and it looks like we're just going to come out behind traffic which has not helped my chances at all so I've played this strategy completely wrong which is really not great especially that I was challenging for up front and maybe for a podium but nevertheless it looks like we're going to have to try and work hard now again just made it more difficult for myself as we immediately try and get around car 11 but he does get out of the way for us and we managed to get past him a couple laps later and actually catch up to car 5 who is actually currently in p3 so we are still in the shout for a podium but we are gonna have to try and make a move on track to get that podium so i'm hoping lap cars kind of get in the way as you can see here uh car 11 is actually a lap car and I was hoping he would just get in the way but he slams on the brake here and I have to quickly avoid him and somehow manage to just do it without making contact which is very nice so now neither of us have any problem of a lap car at the moment we just have a couple guys ahead of us one who is in P2 and a couple lap cars just ahead of him so maybe the lap cars could even help us get P2 here who knows so we just need to keep challenging as best as possible here as Steve-O gets pushed out a little bit there which isn't ideal for him as I'm going to try down the inside of car 5 but he just blocks me off there so I back out of that I don't want to take him out and I don't want to take myself out of the race so I decided to just back off and wait for another opportunity as down the inside goes car 5 off car 1 pushes him massively wide there which was not ideal for car 1 there but nevertheless I have to back off because car 1 still has a position on me Cart 1 sends it back down the inside of Cart 5, this is where I thought I had the opportunity but I get absolutely punted from behind there by someone which I did not know who but I thought I'd give the position back for Cart 5 for it because I thought I blocked him up there and he went into the back of me because of it so I decided you know what I'll let him back through and try and find another opportunity to get around him where he makes a little tiny error and I could just slip it down the inside but he's taking all the right lines here and all the right breaking points that's so difficult to get around especially that I've got the extra weight on as well so it's just very difficult to try and find it down the straight to send it down the side as we get past a couple lap cars here and by the end of the race sadly I just can get him and it looks like it's going to be P4 for us sadly so close to P3 and to a podium in this reverse grid race but sadly it's just not to be and we finish P4 Alright guys, I'm going to leave this video here, if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like and subscribe. I know it's a bit of a different video and it's not quite the same as doing the outdoor car and stuff on my senior Votax, but it was just a bit of fun session. I definitely recommend going to check out Race World, uh, the link to their website is in the description below if you want to check it out and get a booking in. But thank you for watching and goodbye.